That's right. I'm here with the one, the only, Kevin Hill. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. You asked and we delivered. We're here with Kevin Hill. And Kevin, we have an upcoming virtual event. It seems like it's been a while. It has been a little bit. We had the in-person event in Arkansas. Huge success. We're back to virtual events right now. June 15th, we have the Small Fleet and Owner Operators Summit. It's a full day of all the things that if you're an operator, if you have a smaller fleet, everything that you need to know about, and there's a lot you need to know about this year in 2022. I mean, that's right. You're also, as Kaylee mentioned, very involved in our research. And one of those talking points has been around what's happening for those smaller operators, those owner operators, those smaller fleets. This is going to be one of those areas that's really critical for them right now. It is. You know, it's, it's a changing market. We've yeah. been talking about it every single day, especially here on Freight Waves now. Just the spot market has decelerated and went down at a rapid pace, and that is uh, worrisome for a lot of owner operators. Uh, Donnie talks about this all the time. Time, used equipment prices have tripled. You have fuel that and diesel that is off the charts. So your your margins be squeezed. Your costs are going up right now with inflation. Rates are coming down. These are really troubled troubled waters to navigate in 2022. I think you you called. You made a bold prediction <laughs> on, a, on a shipper update back a couple months ago, maybe three months ago, right. January February, that the back half of 2022 is going to be challenging for the entire economy. We're we're starting to see that a little bit right now. I think so, and, and we're definitely going to try to find that clip and, and, and d <laughs> brush some of the dust off on that yeah. one. With this upcoming event, what can people expect? And when looking at the small operators or the small fleets yeah. and owned operators, what are going to be some of the speakers that we can expect for this event? Yeah, number one, uh, Trucker Tools okay. is our, our presenting sponsor. They're, they're going to have a, a great segment or two uh, talking about digital freight matching and kind of you know, uh, if you're a small fleet owner operator, it's, it's all about finding loads right now, finding the right loads for you that fit within your network so you can make as much uh, as possible because as we said you know spot rates are coming down your costs everything from equipment to insurance to fuel is going up so you're being squeezed so that is going to be a, a lot of it it's about developing relationships with shippers I have a uh, I have a fireside chat with Paul Estrada uh, works for a very large shipper out there talking about how to get your foot in the door kind of what to expect on that side of it back the truck up Dooner and the guys or are, uh, are going to be out and active with the truck will, will definitely be a part of that virtual event along with other content from back the truck up so uh, a lot of really good information all around talking about navigating these waters right now and i think that's really a great way to put it is navigating these waters because taking back to my consulting days and executive advisory one of the things that really had a great advantage for those smaller operators and just business in general was that mm -hmm. you're able to be nimble, you're able to act quickly um, compared to some of the larger operators, larger uh, organizations. When looking at this segment, it's going to be pivotal, paramount that they act sooner rather than later because by the time that the writing's on the wall, it's already going to be too late. You're an economist, you know that this this quite well, right? Yeah. Reading that those those that, that economic data that's coming out constantly, there's a lot of warning signs, a lot of flashing signs. We've been talking about it for a couple months now, but the back half of 2022 uh, could be where the real danger is. Yeah. We, we we're just leading up to the the second second act of of this freight recession. Yeah, and and really, there's so many parts that play into this. I mean, I'm. Try to be more active on LinkedIn, but Henry Byers also posting a lot of uh, interesting mm -hmm. stuff, and so it's interesting to see how it all kind of pulls together. Because we think of small fleet and owner operators that may be living in their own, you know, segmented world, but really bring able to bring in all these other data, all these other resources from the supply chain. I think is really, you know, is critical to really understanding what the current environment is. And, and that is something that we'll be talking about. We'll be talking about real time market mm. uh, knowledge right there. We, we have. Uh, a couple of our, our sonar account reps are going to do a, a demo of, of sonar and how small fleets can uh, can use sonar to, to maximize uh, the profits. But we're going to be tying in some ocean. We're, we're going to tie in some ocean and, and just really show and talk about how that affects downstream with a lag. Uh, the, 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 the trucking market, right. that the, the small fleets and the owner operators make up, you know, uh, quite a, a large percentage of, of the capacity out there. I think that's a great point. I mean, mentioning sonar here because 
it's almost like I, I get so used to it. I just think that everyone has sonar. We talk to it all the time. We use it on all of our, all of our shows. But it's not just for enterprise guys. It's not just for mid-sized players. Owner operators can get use out of it as well. Yeah, it's all about knowing what the, what the market's doing. Right. And specific markets, not the overall market, but specific lanes, specific uh, freight markets. We have about 135 uh, freight markets. When you look at track and rates, it's, it's hundreds of thousands of unique OD paired lanes. So making those database decisions on what, what what the data is telling you and be able to follow through that, being able to go. So we'll be talking about all of those things at the, this virtual event. We also have the AV EV, so autonomous and electric vehicle uh, coming up in September. Right. Uh, September 7th, that will be the next one. Alan Adler is putting together a straw man uh, agenda for that. We should have something pretty set here in the, the next few weeks, but uh, his outline and topics that he's picked out for that is, uh, is is really interesting. He sent those over to me yesterday. They're very interesting. So that was a big success last year. It's going to be a big success this, this year too. And I'm excited about it. I'm like looking at the agenda for this uh, this upcoming year of events, and I'm thinking it's so far away, but really it's right around the cor corner. Arkansas came on us so it's just so mm -hmm. quickly. It was just right there. Um, we're looking at this upcoming event here. We call it an event, but it's more of an experience. I mean, when we're looking at um, where we've come, we're really leading these virtual events and really kind of making it more incorporating mm -hmm. and more of a networking opportunity. Can you talk to some of the ways that people can really get the most out of it just by attending? Because it's a free to register, right? Uh, it's free to register, right? You have the, the, the platform, you go to live.freightwaves.com. You can register today. You can get included in the door prizes that, that we'll have out. Uh, but we have chat, real-time chat chat going on, we have chat rooms as well, uh, you know, booths for uh, showcase new technology. We also ha will have a couple three demos uh, during the day as well, so you can look at, at other new technology uh, that might help you navigate these waters. But yeah, there, there's plenty of chances to, to go in and network, meet people, uh, connect on LinkedIn afterwards. It's all about networking. It's all about getting really useful, actionable intelligence and information to be able to go out and make better business decisions because, as, as we are saying, the back half of 2022 is going to get really choppy. Right. You think it's choppy right now, it's, it's probably likely going to get more choppy. So it's, it's good to, to be prepared, navigate these troubled waters, make it back on the, the back end of, uh, of this turbulent market in a better place. That's exactly right. It's definitely a turbulent market. I'm excited for this one, Kevin. You definitely put together some great virtual events in the past. I'm looking forward to this one. I'm sure it's going to be no different. Thank you so much for joining us. Real quick, are there any pieces of, don't want to miss any other uh, aspects of research, anything that you're excited about putting out um, in the upcoming months here? Yeah, we have some, some market outlooks as, as well. So some sentiment-based surveys, uh, research that, that we'll be putting out. Uh, we, we always do our, and you, you do your own monthly market <laughs> I do. update each month on economic data, and, and Zach covers other trucking markets. But, but we're looking at, at the ocean market quite a bit right now. Uh, so expect those to, to, to be out in each week uh, from here on. Awesome, Kevin. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Always a pleasure, and thank you all for tuning in. We're going to take a short break, but we'll be right back with more Freight Waves Me